John here, guys, and today we're talking about this iFlight USB-C to balance connector. Now, what does this do? Well, the GoPro Hero 9 weighs a staggeringly hefty 160 grams. Look at this thing. It's huge. 30 grams more than the GoPro Hero 8, its predecessor. But what if I told you for under $5, and under five seconds of work, you could reduce the weight of this down to 118 grams. 118 grams, that's right, 12 grams lighter than the GoPro Hero 8. You can also reduce the weight equivalently to your GoPro Hero 8, to your GoPro Hero 7, to your GoPro Hero 6. This works on any GoPro with an external battery, and what it does is it takes power from your balance connector that is unused on your quadcopter. It reduces it down with this little regulator on the back and supplies power to your camera. So all you have to do is open your battery door, take the battery out, throw it away. No, don't throw it away. And then take this little door off. Boom. Now this plus this is now 42 grams lighter. Take your balance connector, plug it in. See this side at the bottom is negative. You're gonna put that with the negative of your balance lead on your LiPo. You should get a little blue light right here. If you have it in the right way, now you're ready to plug it into the USB-C down here on the bottom. Now you have power. Now, what I do recommend that you anchor this down in some way. Don't just stuff it in there. Anchor it down so that if this battery gets ejected, you're not pulling your, your GoPro off or pulling by this. So I would put some way to anchor this right here. And now, if we plug in our build, actually, even without plugging in our build, we can start the recording. So I'm going to push record right there. Here we can see that we are getting full power and recording on the GoPro just by using this. Now we have 118 gram GoPro Hero 9 with this connector powering it. Of course, this is now exposed, so your GoPro is no longer waterproof. So if you're flying over water, take the extra grams and use the door and the battery. But without it, you can perfectly power your GoPro. You miss 40 something grams worth of weight. Now it flies much more similar to those Hero 9s, maybe even a little bit lighter because you end up losing over 40 grams and the difference is 30 grams. You can also do this with the Hero 8, with the Hero 7, with the Hero 6 and reduce the weights of all of those without getting into that, you know, crazy stripping your GoPro down naked. Now the nice thing about this is I can take this off. I can put my battery back in. I can attach my battery door back on. And now this is a fully functioning action camera once again. I can take this underwater, I can take it on vacation, I can do whatever I want with it. And everything still works as normal. With a naked GoPro, it's not so easy to switch it back and forth like that. Um, so the people that are complaining about the weight of this thing, now you can have a package that is lighter than the GoPro Hero 8, or you can reduce 20, 30 grams off of any of those other GoPros, not have to worry about batteries. Now the downside of this modification is it does keep the battery door open so your GoPro is no longer waterproof. So if you're flying over wake borders or some other water sports, I don't recommend this. Anybody else, yes. This is a great way without stripping your GoPro naked that you can remain fully clothed. Don't be worried about how this is heavy. Strip the weight off. And the nice thing about this is I still retain full action camera functionality in this. If when I'm not flying it on my quad, I want to take this on vacation. I want to go scuba diving with it. I want to go snorkeling with it. I want to go to the beach with it on different kind of things. I want to go on a roller coaster with it. All I got to do is pop this battery back in, pop this battery door back on. Now it's a fully action camera along with the waterproofing, along with the side, 
on there and uh, same amount of battery life. This can also be used as a backup for those who use this camera for other purposes to be able to supply your USB power and do super long time lapses. Um, it's just an amazing piece of kit that converts any LiPo into a backup battery for your GoPro. So awesome job on this iFly. It's only five bucks, you might as well get one. Um, I am loving this thing. I'm about to go take a few rips, over 40 grams lighter on this GoPro Hero 9 once the rain finally stops. What do you think in the comments, guys? Does this sway you to try one of these? Or would you rather just take the weight savings on your existing GoPro? Or would you rather go out and get one of the other GoPros on the market? What are you gonna do in the comments this year for your action camera needs, guys? Let me know, thanks.